All right, everybody, here is the second part of my denim video. It's the guys this time. So I'm going to get right into it. I don't have as many original 80s fashion for the guys, but I have a few. I'll start with this guy here. Again, I try to do 80s models, but this is a 2016 water play. I chose him because he's very skinny. And this particular outfit came with this shirt, too. But um, I couldn't get the shirt on because this, the cuffs here, they are so skinny. They don't fit on any of my Ken. So I might have to modify that. But you can see, like, wow, this is called 80s chic for sure. So I like that outfit, the black stone wash. This guy is a click and play guy. And I had these big gray denim pants. When I saw them off the doll, I thought like the 90s kind of grunge, maybe 2000 skater look. But on him, they're giving kind of dojo, uh, warrior, karate type vibes. But I like them, and I like this guy too. A little silver fox action happening there. And then we got old John Smith. Figured I'd put him in the bright blue stone wash. Right, beach guy, total dude. So I think he looks good in these. These are from the 80s collection, I believe, maybe 90s. And then I got my superstar Ken. I mean, who to better try to pull off flannel, denim, and fringe all in one outfit. Then superstar Ken, and I knew he was superstar Ken because he's missing his red ring there, but... This guy, if he can't pull it off, I don't think anybody can pull this outfit off. So he's doing a great job with that. Had to have my last rocker here, Derek, from Barbie and the Rockers. This jean jacket I originally thought was a Barbie a girl jacket, but it didn't fit well on them. But it's really nice quality. The button and the detail work, it's nice and dark. So I figured Derek, he's a rocker. He's a former on-the-road type of guy, right? Who can pull off dark denim better than Derek? Here we go, folks. The nice jacket. I like it. I don't know what this guy's name is. He's like from my action hero collection. But this outfit, yeah, dark denim, red cotton, and dark denim vest. I don't know what we can do. <laughs> with this outfit, but that's that's the 80s, folks. And then finally, on my last Ken doll here, this is, I think, Sensation Hispanic Ken from the 80s, rocking these light stone wash jeans. So, is it Sensation? Sun Gold Malibu Hispanic. From 1983. He's one of my favorites because I just love the way his face looks. Not digging the straight arms, but I do like his face mold. So, but yeah, so there's all my Ken dolls rocking some uh, unique denim fashions straight from the 80s. My own personal childhood collection. These jeans may be newer from like a, a Facebook haul, but all these other outfits that these guys are wearing are definitely from those days. And what I used to do is these off-brand, uh, there used to be like the Sears Christmas catalog. And just like you can get Amazon like off-brand fashion packs, Sears Christmas catalog had tons of off-brand Barbie or fashion dolls, I should say. And I would get a lot of those for Christmas because they were a lot cheaper than the Mattel. Then you'd open them up and you'd be like, ooh, okay, not quite as high quality as Mattel, but I didn't care. I just like changing the fashion now. I wasn't fussy when I was a kid. But I did find a couple of unopened packs from the 80s. I'm going to say maybe 88, 89 Christmas when I stopped kind of collecting Barbies. So they're still in the cellophane packet and they're like neon, kind of bright colors for Ken. So I'll have to do a video where I kind of 
take those out of the bag, but those are vintage right from the 80s. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, follow. I got Instagram, YouTube. And let me know if you think I should try to keep the 80s aesthetic, then add some accessories. Or do you think I should actually try to modify some of these and, you know, take in the waist and make them a new style? I'm really curious to see what you guys think. I'm classic. I don't like taking away that classic 80s aesthetic myself, but uh, we'll see. So thanks for watching again, everybody. Stay tuned for the part three, I guess, where I actually start to try to modernize some of these without ruining that classic 80s denim lace fringe bow kind of great 80s fashion that we love to see and remember. Some of us remember, some of you youngins, probably just laughing at this video right now. But all right, everybody, have a good day and thanks for watching. Bye.